Hey you guys, Joe Punch Joey, and we've got Thea here. Um, so if you want to get in frame, Thea, no, you just want to lie down. Um, we are here with episode 12 of Scam Season 2, the finale, um, which I'm, very, I'm actually so sad about. I've powered through the final five episodes within two days, um, and I've never done that. Like I said, I think I said in the last episode, but I've not done that with a show that I've reacted to where I've just powered, powered binge reactions, unless it's like Stranger Things, where it's like I kind of had to because they are all like one day and spoilers. Um, but yeah, this season has been incredible. I, I prefer this to season one and I've said that, but I'll do a kind of full review thing of kind of season two when we get to the end of the episode at the end of this video. Uh, but thoughts for now, I thought the last episode was perfect. The ending where uh, William came back for her, I thought was beautiful. It was so well done. Um, and I hope there's like some form of a happy ending. I hope something good happens. I know it's 50 minutes long. Uh, so it was an extra long episode, which I'm happy about, because it was like the last time I'll have Nora and William, a uh, little story. And it's weird, like, Scam Scam is, like, it, spoiler for, spoilers for my top 50 shows of all time. Uh, it's in my top 10, and I'm watching it now, and I just know that this is the only time I'll be able to see these episodes for the first time. Um, after that, it'll never be again, so I've got to <sighs> indulge. Uh, but then we are on to the season three, the one everyone loves. Um, before that though, I'm going to do a reaction to the trailer for season three, as well as my top 10 moments, uh, from season two, because I've, I've done a list and I had 15 moments that I thought were incredible. Um, and I still had to kind of order them. So yeah, look out for those videos. Here we go, guys. Let's do this. If you enjoyed, oh, God, well, uh, we've got to get the, uh, rigmarole out. If you enjoyed them, please like, if you want to remember to subscribe and if you do want the full uncut reaction, as well as early uploads to scam. Uh, a link to the Patreon will be down below. But for now, my friends, let's do this. Oh, I love it. I love him. I don't want it to end. <laughs> Look at her. Did they? Did they? Did they? Did they do the deal? No, okay. She's got clothes on. I thought she was naked. Oh, I love him. I love him so much. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Look, it's because she's like small and he's really tall, but she's trying to cuddle him. It's so cute. If this is 50 minutes of them two just in bed cuddling, I'm happy, happy. I wish I had hair like that. I'm not gonna lie. Like, if I had. If only by the second of your time <laughs> I don't know, I'm just so happy. Just pet not be no right. If he's still lurking around, I'll kill him myself. So Moab you draw the back to the left. Mm, true. If he's still there though, he's gonna throw him out a window. Oh, that was such a cute scene. How long was that? That was like 10 minutes and just under a bit. Oh, adorable. Yeah. <laughs> It's 
Couldn't say move in, mummy. Yes. Oh, I knew that was coming. See how good I am. Oh. Please, come on. That'd be so cute. They're moving in, guys. They're basically married already. They're basically going to be happy forever and ever. Oh! Hello. Questioning. Oh, oh, there's a video of it. Fuck. Fuck. Men det är ju bara att det skulle ha blivit inkallt. Då slipper du vittna mot William. Are they all going to throw William under the bot? I don't know. It's going to have a sad ending, isn't it? What should we do now? We can't just lie to the police. Yeah, I can't expect him to lie for William, to be fair. They don't really know the guy. Yeah, well, we have the right to remain silent. Your ex-tjæreste is for a billy hore. And for the sake of the bank, I can't say that T.P. and J.T. And William did nothing for the sake of the bank. Men så bankade de upp Jonas, och det var ju Chris och Kjell. Det är ju upp Jonas? Ja, det är ju upp Jonas. 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 Har hon vet det här? Vad vet du? Då kanske vi bara fortäller hela den historien då? Eskil! Hva? Vad fejv? Jag vet inte vem du har boende. Nede i kjelleren vår. Men det må bare, det må ta slutt, ok? Fordi liksom, vi har begynt å få naboklager fra, fra de som bor under oss, liksom. Øh, ok, går du rundt og bare vet hva som er sengetøyet mitt nå, liksom? Stopper du? Jeg skal ikke, jeg er den eneste som vasker sengetøyet her i huset. Vet du hva, hadde det ikke vært for meg? Så hadde sengetøyet ditt bare vært helt sånn, helt stift av liksom gammelt kønn. Hils Tito og si at han må bare, når man finner seg et nytt sted å bo, liksom. Ja. Men, men, men si fra hvis du skal se filmen, da. Fordi det er veldig lenge siden jeg har sett den. Det er litt kult å se den sammen. Det er litt hyggelig. Ha det! Jeg håper jeg stiller ned bare, even though it's like, season 3 and stuff. Eh, du vet Vilde. Da tror jeg vel det. Ja. Jeg vet vel det. Ja. Hun sendte meg akkurat nummeret til han i Akusa-fyren. Ok, og hva skal du gjøre med det? Hun skal ha det. Apologize and try not to get to testify. No, I just think that... William... Sir... Please... Glem it. Yo, but hear it! So stubborn, dude. Alle holder kjeft, like that. Glem it. You're so stubborn, dude. You're gonna go to prison for six months because you're not gonna call and just have a Norris worth a try, isn't it? Worst that can happen, you lose a bit of pride. It's like, okay. Or she'll do it for him. <laughs> Hello. You won't say anything. Oh. 
Allah. Okay. Well, if that's true or not. Big fields. Yeah, but you have been there four times, like that. What? What said they? She was waiting there for four hours and she did stuff. Jeg tilstår. Det var. Hvorfor har du? Du kan ikke. Hvorfor har du gjort det? Hvad fanden er det på grund af det du sagde nu? Du må stå øjen op til hans responsibility. Det er jeg sagde. Jeg jeg sagde at du ikke skulle sige en dritt. Det var det jeg sagde. Det om Nico. Det at vi skulle tro på. Det stole på det. Åh, kan du prøve det måske? Så bare vagt jeg stol på det. Alternativt. Kunne jeg vagt å ikke stol på det. Og så heller bare holdt kjeft om det. Ja. Åh, det er vondt hvis du ender. Da er det ganske galt. Ten minutes. What's this remix shit? Ah, <laughs> uh, is that Isaac? Oh. Jonas, we haven't seen them like at all. We've seen them like a couple times, but. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> What do you want? Good boy, you. You, the kiss. What? I feel like Nico. I don't think this is like the last we're going to have seen of Nico, though. I don't know, I'm like nervous. I know we've got happy music, we're all good. Has he got a tattoo though? <laughs> what? Is there a window open or somewhere? Wait. Oh! <laughs> It was in the dude in the window, wasn't it? I thought they were going to be seeing Nora. I was like, oh, man. So these are the best kind of sex scenes where they're just done like art. You know what I mean? And it's just art. <laughs> oh, Chris and Casper, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Why not? He's going for it. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. There you go, kids. Making kids. She got birthmark on her back. That's birthmark. Hva tror du Eskil og Lind kommer til å si når du sier at du skal flytte ut? Jeg tør ikke å si det. Du må si det. Jeg skal altså ta den. Ok. Herregud, det går jo sikkert bra. De må jo bare... This ending is actually ending right now. 
Obviously, season three is about him. Is there anything at the end? Nope, that is it. That is Scam season two. Oh, finished. Done. Um, oh, I can't believe that's actually over. I fucking love that so much. Oh, oh stretch. That was a long 50 minutes. Um, all right, so. Did I prefer season one? Yes, I did. Um, I think I said that way earlier, and I've said it a few times anyway, but I did prefer that to season one, um, which is a good thing, because then it's like, everyone said this was the weakest one, but for me, it just wasn't. Uh, I think, like I, I said it, I said most thoughts in the last episode, but um, I think most people don't get on with the season is because of William. Um, I think if you go in wanting to hate him, you're not going to like the season, of course, but I think by episode three... Um, I kind of liked the guy, and then by episode 5, I did, I liked the guy, so from there, I just fell in love with the season. I think standout episodes for me was 3, 5, and 10. They were the three 10 out of 10 episodes I gave. Uh, that episode there, I'd probably give a low 8 to, like an 8.2. I don't think the police thing was that threatening, and it, I liked that he took responsibility for what he did, um, and that the ball thing came back to like kind of bite him, but... I don't know, I wasn't like, I don't think that was like the main thing I liked the episode. What I liked about it was just Nora and William being a couple, being themselves, being happy. Uh, they didn't have an argument, they didn't have anything, they just were themselves and absolutely loved it. Um, so yeah, just like the first 10 minutes, I think the standout was the first 10 minutes where it was just them two in bed. And then the like sex scene there, it was, it was just like, they did it. I, I genuinely thought they were going to like have those two have sex like in episode three, like really early on, but I'm glad they just waited until the finale. It just made it like that. When the scenes happened, I was like, like I said, art. Um, so yeah, that was cool. Seeing them both happy. Whether they'll stay happy for season three and four, I don't know. But I, I'm glad it ended on a happy note and not like him going to prison or something, as I thought he was going to do. Uh, and Nico didn't come back. I thought he would appear back up, but he didn't. Um, so yeah, for a finale, it was really good. I'd still go, like, let's say, a low 8 um, out of 10. Uh, it's harder with 50-minute episodes. Like, that was a 20-minute episode, and they crammed all that, and you couldn't do all that. So it needed to be 50, but sometimes with 50, there can be, like, a lot, quite a few more flaws. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to talk about, like, big things that I loved about the season, because I do want to do a top 10 moments um, or scenes from Scam Season 2, and I'll talk about more about those scenes in that video. But... Uh, if you've seen all, the, all the reaction videos, you probably know which of those scenes are probably going to end up being anyway. Uh, so, yeah, overall, and I don't think I've done this with a season on the channel before, but I'm giving this season a scam uh, a 10 out of 10, I think. I don't think I've done a 10 out of 10 for anything. Like, I've done 10 out of 10 for episodes, but not for a season, I don't think, but yeah. Scam Season 2 gets a 10 out of 10. Um, I thought the relationship was perfect. I loved William. I loved Nora. She's my favourite character still at this point. Uh, I thought all the scenes where she was with her friends were perfect. The standout scene with, with uh, friends, for example, was the scenes where, between her and Sana, and then her and Vilda in the same episode. I think that was... Was that episode 10? 9? I don't know which episode that was exactly. But, yeah, that was the best scene between her and her friends. I thought that was absolutely perfect. Um, and then a lot of the scenes between her and William were just flawless. Like, they were perfect. The dialogue, it wasn't cheesy, it wasn't over the top. Um, it was just, it was, I don't know, it was just like a nice romantic story. And obviously they had their ups and downs, but it, it was just, it was a flawless relationship throughout the whole season. It would have been boring. So I'm glad they had those ups and downs. And then around uh, episode eight, 8 or 9, where it took that kind of darker turn where Nico came into it, um... I did see that coming, but I'm glad it did because it did, it wasn't just like William and Nora's relationship, even though that is like the main idea of season two. Uh, it kind of brought into it like a new story or a new part into the season that I didn't expect. Um, so yeah, that was really cool. Obviously not cool what happened, but uh, glad that they did something like that. So yeah, I don't really... If I had to pick flaws... Um, I say like like with season one, the same kind of flaws exist. Whereas like some scenes were kind of like dragged out in certain times, 
uh, and it was just characters talking and it wasn't that interesting what they were talking about sometimes. Um, but that that was my same for season one and it they weren't there weren't too many of those. Uh, like like episode four for example, I really did enjoy episode four, but I think it was the weakest. Oh, I think it's like episode four and episode six were the two weakest because what was being said was it didn't impact the story that much. Um, episode four was just kind of like a fun episode anyway. I, I did enjoy both episodes still, uh, but like episode six as well because it was just Nora and William talking about stuff we already knew. Um, I think it was episode six. I'm not hundred percent sure. I'll have to kind of look back through them, but. Not enough to bring it down to like a nine or something like that. It's still it's still a ten out of ten for me. I absolutely adored it this season. And then we get Isaac in the next one, which I'm probably gonna start. I'm gonna watch the trailer for season three tomorrow morning. Um, do my top ten moments tonight, and then I'm gonna probably start episode one of season three tomorrow, depending if it's like a twenty minute episode or a, an hour one or something. If it's twenty minutes, I'll be able to fit it in. Uh, we shall see. But yeah, I'm so happy with that. I'm just going to put this out there as well, but those two are like the best relationship I've seen, uh, or like couple I've been so in love with and engaged with in a long, long time. Um, I love the main couple off the TV show, Love, from Netflix. I love those two, but the, I don't know, something about these two, just every scene just absolutely worked. It's so beautiful. And every like impactful like milestone that they hit, I just like felt it, and it was just fucking great. The editing... And music choices in this show are perfect. Like, whoever does the editing and stuff, but they're perfect. Um, so, yeah. There we go. I think gave season one a scam a nine. Did I give it a nine or a high eight? I can't remember exactly, but this one is a ten, I'd say. So, there we go, guys. Season two of Scam finished. I want to thank you all very much for sticking with me on this one. I think this is the longest season. I think season three and four are only ten episodes each. So we are 20 episodes away and then we're done. Uh, so yeah, we'll get into season three soon. Thanks for watching, guys. If you do want the full uncle reaction as well as early uploads uh, for this episode as well as future ones with season three, um, a link to Patreon will be down below. And until next time for the season three trailer or top 10 moments, if you're going to watch those two, uh, thanks for watching. Peace.